we go through the Congress and on with our devotions and missions, may we contemplate the presence of the indigenous, waiting to be heard, wanting to be danced, needing to be chanted, wanting to share a story. For if we trace back our biological roots to our earliest ancestors, we will discover that each of us is indigenous. Our beingness is an active presencing in the world, that as we do our contemplative practice, we make a movement from isolation to connection, from suspicion to deep trusting, from indifference or dislike to deep understanding. It might even be basic that we help people heal from the denial, from the lack of awareness and the forgetfulness that the indigenous self is a dormant part of the core of who we are, of the core of the self that still play a role in our sense of integration and a nation's collective well-being. There are many Catholicisms, there are many shades of it. And, and it's very important for us, baptized Roman Catholics, to have this understanding, this compassion to be able to really understand where people are coming from. And I think what ultimately is most important is the meaning of this to people that will make them better individuals, better human beings, being able to love their families and children and not be abusive of others and commit injustices and so on. Even if we may have some negative reactions, it's not something that we're comfortable with. But given such kind, you know, such an open-mindedness, to accepting this whole plurality of religious expressions and belief, that you will give each other the benefit of the doubt, if not actual respect for where people are, and dialogue in the process so that you're able to reach a certain level of convergence. Theocentric paradigm is quite strong in Singapore. For a lot of people who do come to the Novena, who are of other faiths, there is, they're not interested in the Christology or Mariology and things like that. They're not interested in dogma. There is only one thing that they know, and they know this for sure, they know it in their heart, and they're very convinced about that. That Mary is a powerful intercessor. The Novena is an opportunity for dialogue. All kinds of people are here. Can we make more efforts to bring them together in a conversation? And so hospitality and mercy are values that transcend all religions. In the Western world, there are millions of people with a foot in these two worlds. Even if many, particularly younger ones, have moved from the world of unified enchantment into the world of individuality and the separation it can engender. We call that the secular world. What kind of religion would make sense in a secular society? I want to speak with you about how a popular icon can be a portal through which women and men may enter more deeply beyond the familiar world and into the mysteries of salvation. With all my heart and soul, I believe that God lives beyond religion and beyond religiosity.